We have something we don't get to test very often. We have the Oppo Find N3, a foldable phone equipped with a large camera module at the back that has Hasselblad lenses and Sony sensors. And on the inside, there is a near unnoticeable crease. We're going to play Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile, which we'll be playing with the spiffy Backbone controller, and lastly, PUBG Mobile. The Oppo Find N3 is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, its GPU and Adreno 740, 16 gigs of RAM, and we've got 512 gigs of storage. With it being a foldable phone, it runs two displays. The external screen is a 6.3 inch, while the internal, when unfolded, is a 7.8 inch screen. Both are AMOLED screens with LTPO that run at 120 hertz. So with that, let's do a baseline unfolded since the game is are going to be played unfolded anyway with our temperature gun. So let's check it out. From here at the back, 28.5. Very steady, I mean the leather is kind of helping out. The camera module does go up a little bit, or actually it does go down because it's glass. And let's check this other screen here, 26.8, nothing too fancy. Nothing too alarming, of course, we just started. And at the front, let's just turn the screen on. All right, big swipes. 27, 29, nothing really pushing 30. So, oh, okay, yep, no, it's pushing 30 by a little, but that's okay. It's still very comfortable to hold. All right, so with that, let's get into our first game, Honkai Star Rail. All right, so we do have a FPS, GPU, and CPU counter. So running currently it's at 30 FPS. So let's just do that and let's increase the volume. So we do have the different battery modes here. We've got balance, low power, and pro gamer mode, which obviously will boost up that heat sick. And honestly, most of you will be on the go. We'll just be playing on balanced mode to see how much battery you can save while pushing the game to its limits. And in order to push those limits, we're gonna be changing up the settings. All right, now that we're in settings, we're going to go to very high, very high, 60 FPS. And yep, everything is turned on. No fairy drops or anything. I mean, this thing is running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and it's Adreno 740, so I wouldn't be expecting that many hiccups from this set of chips. And see you later, see you. How are we running the image? Looks great, but more importantly, Kafka. Yes. All right, Kafka's looking pretty good. And so far, switching characters, I think we are doing pretty good, right? Very seamless, no fairy jobs whatsoever. So with that, let's just get into the simulated universe. The speakers are on the sides of the phone, on both sides. So as you see, it's muffling up things when I hold it like this. So do keep that in mind. Again, headphones are always the best way for things. So I'm going to be kind of blasting this a little bit more. I will say that the camera module does get away a little bit, but honestly, this isn't the largest camera module I've seen. So it's still not too bad for what I'm used to. And also because of the way the screen is like when it's unfolded, you're going to get these black bars here. So there'll be letterboxing. Come on, I want to try something out. <laughs> Very fun. Let me end your misery. All right, let's do a quick of the see how things work. All right, let's see how this thing handles all these. All right, let's get that frost in. All right, very smooth animations, no issues whatsoever. So we're doing pretty good. Let's speed things up. Right, even with it's fed up, everything's running very smoothly, as you can see. It's a bit more. Alright, there we go. Nice. Alright, you lead. Good for the strategy. No, do not. Quite a bit. That's Just pretty much everything we got. Actually, I don't need hers, but um, misplayed this bit, but it's all good. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's blaze. Yeah. All will be revealed. 
Records. Alright, keep going. Keep leaning on the hook. Okay, because I don't want to test the game longer than I should, we already passed the 40 minute mark for this game, which is still quite a bit. That's about an entire match of PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile BR. Alright, let's check final temperatures. And on the front, 37.8. 35.2, 31, nothing too crazy here. Okay, it's 41 around here, but that's understandable because that's where the chip is at, especially in the middle. This is the, where the crease is at, right here. But besides that, the rest of the phone is still very comfortable to hold. And because the chip is in the middle and you're holding another part of the screen on the top here, most of it is kind of from like cold to hot, so it's not super uncomfortable. Though I will say this camera module will probably get in the way so in order to curve that we will be playing with the backbone but again the backbone only supports certain games so just be mindful of that and all right nothing too crazy with the highest just being around this area but even then this phone is whew, it's quite sick so besides the letter boxing it did take quite a bit it took a long time for the phone to really start breaking down if i can say that because the FPS has been quite constant between like 55 to 60 throughout most of the playthrough or even at the most 50. It might dip lower than that but it won't go drastically to 26 to 23 like we saw earlier on but besides that the phone is handling Honkai Star Rail pretty well. I can't wait to see what it runs like with Genshin Impact which we'll be getting into right now. And also one more thing to note, we started this game yeah. and also to, one, one, one thing to note, we started this game test at 100%, we are currently 82%. So with that, let's get into Genshin Impact. All right, so we are hot off the heels of Honkai Star. We had to let the camera rest a bit. It was overheating, but currently we have 81% battery. And let's check temperatures. Lay it flat on the ground. Well, not really flat, but yes. I believe everything has gone down quite a bit. Yeah, we're almost at the same base temperatures as when we first checked them out. So doing pretty good, Oppo. Damn, all right, let's check the back. All right. 29.2 and yeah pretty much uniform around here except we're getting to the chip now as you can see it's kind of rising up now 29.8 30 and around the camera module nothing much okay doing pretty good another thing to note the game booster does automatically adjust the phone and optimizes it for gaming so that's something to keep in mind except for this little counter here you will need to activate it on your own all right, now that we're getting Genshin Impact, we can see that the UI is pretty much sorted out for foldable phones. Everything is around here and your thumb has easy placements. Unless you have huge hands like mine, it'll be slightly harder to navigate, but other than that, it's pretty much manageable. But let's check settings real quick. All right, so in settings, everything is set to the highest. We're at 60 FPS and other than that, I think we are pretty much good to go. All right, now look, it's looking really good. And so far, even if I push the camera like that, there are no frame rate drops whatsoever. Let me just enable that frame rate counter again, that FPS counter. All right, Zoro, Ayaka, very much seamless. All right, very seamless. Okay, sick. And with that, let's run through Inazuma. All right, it is turning to evening here. Things are rendering in very nicely. Let's keep moving. Very, very slight frame rate drops. Okay, it's it's around 40 to 30 right now. Again, the phone isn't out yet, so Genshin obviously isn't optimized for the Oppo Find N3. So you will see it dip down below 50 quite a bit. We're not even talking about 60, we're talking about 50. As you can see, and let's uh, just jump down. We're at 41. So with that in mind, let's go into some exploration and combat. Alright, so far combat is looking pretty good. Pretty damn promising, it's just that as you can see, I'm kind of pushing up here quite a bit because of how the phone is like, especially with the camera module right here at the bottom. Alright, so that's done. If I can get this right, we'll be able to land right on top of them. Oh, let's get the archer first though. Alright. Okay, Archer is down. Come on, move out! Okay, I'm kind of glitched in right now. Oh my lord. This is not how I expected it to go, but it is going the way it is because... Um, right. Great, great stuff. 
I'm frozen, you're dying, you're dying, you're dying. Come on, you're dying, you're dying. All right, and everyone is down. Uh, with that, let's get into the final bit. I almost call it the simulated universe. Let's go to the abyss, the spiral abyss. All right, first chamber time. Oh, very nice. All right, let's keep whacking them. Come on. Uh, and also, registration isn't that great. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, it's probably because I have such huge hands. That's the only reason I can think of right now. Very nice. Come on. Yo. All right, one down. Come on. DPS him. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, we are done. So with that, let's check final temperatures. All right, currently 28, 33. Honestly, it, it didn't feel that hot. Nothing kind of went off. It's still giving off the same performance as Honkai Star Rail. So I'm pretty surprised even, uh, I'm pretty surprised even though this phone hasn't been released yet that it is somewhat working-ish. Can't be as bad as other phones, but it can't be as bad as other phones pre-launch, but this phone is working out pretty well. Honestly, it's just a Snapdragon and a Genesis 140 combo, undefeated still. Around this area, it's still, oh, it's not even at 40. All right, so with that, very interesting. And also we're at 75% battery down from 81. So I think, wow, it's doing pretty good with Genshin. A lot better than I expected though. So with that, let's get into Call of Duty Mobile with the backbone. All right, so now that we're off Genshin Impact, let's check temperatures real quick. We're currently at 72%. Of course, I have to let the camera cool down a little bit. And of course the phone as well. 80. Oh, why is it why is it in Fahrenheit? Back to Celsius because we don't use the Imperial system here. Uh, 28.6, uh, 29.7, 30. All right, not too bad. Again, 29.7. Very much uniform around the area here. And 28. And yeah, I think we're good. So with that, let's attach the backbone, which I'm going to need to zoom out a bit for. We only have one USB-C slot, and that's where the module is at. And the thing about the backbone is, it has a backbone. So, <laughs> that thing kind of clashes. So let's just, let me just show you, all right? So you got to put this thing in here, kind of stretch it out, right? And it obviously just takes the top half. And once you put it in, it's not exactly stable because of how the back is like. Just look at that. Yeah, it's a bit, it's not exactly ideal, but this is what we're working with. And yeah, with that, let's just get into Call of Duty. Now that we're in Call of Duty Mobile, um, obviously because the phone can't exactly detect that it's a backbone, I have to select it manually. So let's get into settings and check settings real quick. Uh, we're gonna go with very high graph quality and max frame rate. We're going to be playing a round of Battle Royale. So let's just get into a match. All right, round of very smooth and the game looks really good. Let me just zoom in on that action. I'm going to try to keep it in this for as long as I can. And finally, I'm in a squad. I'm not playing alone. Okay, no, no, I'm not a jump master. Okay, let's just go wherever he's going. But so far, so good. We're keeping it at a steady 60 to 59 FPS or rather the other way around. And it's looking to be pretty good. I mean, honestly, dudes, we are and dudes and dudettes and dudes, we are running in Adrenaline Zone 40 with the Snapdragon e Gen 2 on Call of Duty Mobile. So, honestly, honestly, not one of the most intensive games, but you know what? We ball. You got enemies on you. Oh. What the hell? Do you, you guys saw that, right? All right, it's one down. Okay, I don't think I'll be using the M60 for long, but there's someone behind me, I believe. Oh. Nope. Okay, I just need to get proper use to the controls. All right. Very nice, quite a bit of stuff. Oh yes, we're gonna go AK, I don't care. We're going AK. 
Oh, okay. I'm not hitting anyone with the sniper rifle. Oh my gosh. Okay. There will be nothing in this game that would hinder the performance of... Oh, there you are. Oh my god. Oh, okay, great. Oh! Oh, that's terrible. Okay, there we go. Ah. Four more people to go down. Let's just hunt. Oh, on my left. All right. Few more peeps. I think we got some more people on that side. Oh, greens over here. Oh, there you go. There we go. What a way to end the game. I finally get a good kill. Oh my god. Okay, so honestly, very fun in the backbone. As usual, this thing will not let you down whatsoever. Just need to tune the settings to your liking. But right? other than that, when it comes to temperature and everything, I mean, honestly, even though the backbone is on, there's still a good amount. It's not covering the entire phone, right? It's just covering the phone partially, and even then, this little module does get in the way. So I don't think I can count a lot on the. Um, I, don't, I don't think it'll overheat or anything, because honestly, you know what, there's still enough ventilation going through. So with that, let's just check temperatures. Okay, so I've taken the backbone. Okay, so I've taken the backbone off. We are currently at 65%. Okay, these games do take up quite a bit from the phone. So with that, let's check temperatures real quick. Especially Honkai Star Rail, that took like, what, 20-ish percent? 29 percent? So with that, let's check temperatures. And 28.9, honestly, not expecting much. Call of Duty Mobile isn't the most taxing game on our list. So is PUBG Mobile, but people want to see how the games perform on them and that's why they're in there. Okay, so let's check the back. And the back right now is 28 degrees, 28.7, 29. Oh, okay. No complaints. Very, very good temperatures coming out of this phone for Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG. Yeah. Very good temperatures coming out, okay. Let's check the back real quick. Okay, let's check the back now. And 27.7, 28. Around the chip air is on 29, okay. Again, not the most taxing game. And we're getting the numbers that we kind of want. So with that, let's get into our final game. PUBG Mobile. Before we get into PUBG Mobile, let's get into temperature checks. We are currently at 64% battery. And let's just check temperatures in the front. 27.3, 27.7, 27.3. Yeah. Another note is at the crease. You know what? Can't see anything. That's that's pretty cool. Alright, so 28, 27. Pretty good numbers. And let's check the back really quickly. Alright. 28. Let's check the leather side first where the chips are at. 28, 28, 28. All very good numbers. Coming out of the module, 26, alright, as expected. And let's check the other side. Looking pretty good. It is dissipating heat pretty well. All right, handling the thermal is pretty good. So with that, let's get into PUBG Mobile. All right, now that we're in PUBG Mobile, let's check settings real quick. We are at smooth graphics at 90 FPS, general settings four times anti-aliasing, and pretty much everything is all right. So with that, let's just get into a match. Also, I will say that I already have customized the buttons to fit my playstyle and comfort levels when playing PUBG Mobile. But here is PUBG Mobile in all its glory. This is how it looks like. It kind of feels like the FOV is kind of pushed up quite a bit. I mean, obviously there's no letterboxing, so let's see how it looks like in first person, if I can get it there. The first person looks okay. Still kind of a bit weirded out by the FOV, but other than that, I think it looks pretty much fine. But it's running very smoothly. Let's just get that system settings real quick out so I can check our FPS. And let's see, system status. All right, 89, 88. So we are running this at 90 FPS. And let's just get into the game now. All right, things are looking pretty good. I got my streamers up. And I don't think, I could probably be go behind us. So let's just get the pachinki real quick. We're going to be employing that wave pattern right about now. So I'll be heading towards that side of town where my marker is at. And so far, no huge frame rate drops. We're still playing around the 85 to 90 region, so things are looking pretty good. I don't know why green is out, but you know what? Never mind. His problem, not mine. Alright. Oh, okay. 
get through that window. Okay, so they are situated mostly on this side, things across the road. I'll probably get shot at from here. But okay, they're fighting around here somewhere. Alright, it's one down. I took a hit, but I think we're doing okay. okay. I will say it is nice having so much room on the screen to really just like navigate the menus and stuff. It's really quite helpful. Let's just heal up real quick before anyone gets any funny ideas. Okay, not exactly my best firefight, but you know what? We're running, we're still alive. You know, there will be some work involved when it comes to optimizing the way you play games. They are firing me from somewhere. Can't exactly pick up where it is, but oh, there you are. Let's just get into that. Holy shit. Haha. -ha. One down. It's kind of my fault that I kind of ran so far from the pack, but yeah, I'll be able to handle myself. I know I can. It's all good. All right. Currently about 10 minutes into the game. We are at 58% and I finally found a vehicle. It's a monster truck. Let's hop in there. Very, very nice sounds coming out from the speakers. Oof. It's, it's nice because at the same time, because the speakers are playing it out, right? You got a bit of haptic feedback, if I can call it that, coming in from this. So it's, it's nice to hold and play. Let's just go pick up the real quick. Oh, he got me good. He got me real good. Hit. A bit too high. Still a bit of a problem. He's firing us from that one tree. I can just run over him though. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just run over him. Oh wait, never mind. The circle's gonna catch us. Okay. I'm gonna need to get the guy real quick. Come on. Okay, that was stupid of me, okay. I'm not the smartest. But with that, that concludes our playthrough of PUBG Mobile. Not my best game. Whatever, all right. So let's just check temperatures real quick. I am very embarrassed right now. Okay, so 35 degrees, 38, wow, okay. It is kind of heating up a little bit down here. 33, 35, 36, okay. Not too bad. Not what I was expecting, honestly, because I did expect it to do slightly better compared to Call of Duty Mobile because, you know, we aren't exactly playing on like amazing graphics, but you know, you know what? It's still below 40. I don't know why it's at 38. 35, 36. Let's check this out. 31, 32. All right, let's check here. 30, 30, not, the spikes aren't that huge here for some reason. I'm not getting anything like 39-ish. I, come on. Yeah, it's still about 34, 35 around that chip area. 52% battery. So that went up like 4% in our entire playthrough. So not too bad, not too bad. Honestly, FPS hasn't dropped at all. So let's just get into our final thoughts. The Oppo Find N3. More than that, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and Adreno 740 Combo Wombo is one you can't go wrong with, especially juiced up with 16 gigs of RAM. Surprisingly, it handled Hong Kai Stario pretty well, holding up till about the 35 minute mark where we saw our first major frame rate drop in the game. Besides that, the game did eat into some 20-ish percent of battery from a 43 minute playthrough on a balanced battery setting. So imagine it on the pro gamer setting. Genshin again isn't well optimized, I mean we have the phone before launch and it's a common theme but I will say the Find N3 handles it well enough even in its current state. The unfolded display is pretty sick and I think I can give Genshin some credit for not having letterboxing like Honkai Star Rail and also how the UI is sort of tailored for this generation of foldable phones. 
Call of Duty and PUBG ran without a hitch. Of course, the backbone isn't super suited for the Oppo Find N3 unless you have a cover to level out the camera module so it's smoother. For PUBG's case, default FOV is pretty far out for me on this phone at least, but besides that, it plays very well once you configure the controls to your gameplay style. You're working with a 20 by 9 screen which wouldn't be the usual for many people out there, so take your time to configure your controls to get the best experience out of it. Except for the Hoyoverse games since they don't allow it. All in all, the Oppo Find N3 is one with a pack of Snapdragon HN2 Pro plus Adreno 740 equipped phones and you honestly can't go wrong with its surprising thermal management. Just get ready to get used to the camera module sticking out the back or you know just get a cover. Would you be getting the Oppo Find N3? Let me know in the comment section below and leave your questions there if you have any and we'll do our best to get to them. If you like what we do, make sure to follow us on all of our socials right here and maybe leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way. Anyway, this is Zinio. Have a great week and I'll catch y'all soon.